In two weeks, support for the McCain-Palin ticket, I'm sorry, Palin-McCain ticket by white women dropped 21 points. The presidential candidate learned at age 72 that the White House can't fire the chairman of the Securities Exchange Commission. He also insisted the fundamentals of the economy were sound as it hit its biggest iceberg in at least 22 years. One of his converts from Senator Clinton's camp said Mr. McCain would be nicer than would Obama to, quote, rednecks, unquote. The vice presidential candidate confirmed she installed a tanning bed in the governor's mansion, revealed she didn't know what the Bush doctrine was, wasn't sure if she'd immediately accepted a spot on the ticket or had a family vote on it first and listed herself before the presidential candidate. And we haven't even gotten to the stuff on Fox News in the last 24 hours. Our number one story in the countdown for the GOP and its television network, a kind of perfect storm. Sean Hannity conducted an interview with Governor Palin that was slightly less hard-hitting than one you'd see on a late-night infomercial. We'll show you the condensed 62-second version of that in a moment. But first, this morning, a fixed news guest used a word so outrageous about the governor's anatomy that had it been said by a Democrat or in any other venue, the conservatives' phony outrage meter would have burst and Republicans might have been rioting in the street. But it was said on Fox, so it was just funny. We'll warn you, there is sexist anatomical slang in here which we have not bleeped and over which the right is mysteriously not calling for the head of Caroline Baum of Bloomberg News. If you're a Democrat, are you a Democrat first or, or for example, a woman first that sees a breakthrough? I mean, there's, no, there's a huge breakthrough here that regardless of your party, correct? <laughs> If you're asking me, I, I think the idea that she would appeal to Hillary voters, you know, the, the pro-choice versus not seems to be a much bigger issue than, you know, she has tits versus she, you know, has another body part that men have. <laughs> so. uh -huh. No truth to rumors that they had to explain the meaning of that word to the Fox Morning hosts. To the interview of the governor in which she claimed she did not, or she did indeed watch, but did not listen to Tina Fey's impression of her on Saturday Night Live. I watched with the volume all the way down and I thought it was hilarious. I didn't hear a word she said, but the visual was spot on. Enjoy it, Governor. Ms. Fay has reportedly agreed to reprise the role again, not this week, but next and thereafter. If she needs any help on studying her subject, it was the rest of that interview, which we have distilled down to its talking points essence. 62 seconds of unparalleled statesmanship and political savvy. Roll them. Governor, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. You didn't hesitate. You didn't blink. Let's we'll shake some things up. A hockey team meeting. Let's do this, Mom. The economy. It's Senator Barack Obama is attacking. Unfair attack. He means our workforce. That was an unfair attack there. It is a mess, though. Senator Obama, the danger of danger. There is a danger. Pretend like they have all the answers. It's OPM, other people's money. Senator Barack Obama. Should there be an investigation? I think that's significant cronyism. The cronyism, ruffling feathers, good old boy system, back on the side of the people. Coming up, more of Sean's interview with Sarah Palin. We're now continuing with Sean's exclusive interview with Governor Sarah Palin. Uh, you want to reform government? Uh, reforming the, the reform. Real reform, that's the reform. You've used the term reform a lot. Promising the reform. Reform, let's reform. Mm -hmm. uh, through reform. Through reform. Explain when you were governor how you took on your, your own party. Yeah. This is Ruffle feathers. A team of mavericks. Cronyism's good old boy network. Cronyism. Reform. We are ruffling feathers. I have, to, I have to move to Alaska. The rest of the interview was pretty much the two of them extolling the value of Kevin Trudeau's weight loss cure, the ab coaster, and the other late night TV wonder products besides Sarah Palin.